I always heard about Niagara Falls, and I saw it in that one episode of The Office, but I never got a chance to go. So we decided to do a bonus trip this summer, and we flew into Buffalo, New York. Hey! Niagara Falls is a group of three waterfalls at the southern end of the Niagara Gorge, spanning the border between the province of Ontario and the state of New York. We drove over the border into Ontario. Then we checked into our hotel that overlooked the insanely beautiful Horseshoe Falls. No way. <gasps> That's wild. Oh 3,160 tons of water flow over Niagara Falls every second. We don't really do too much on heavy travel days, so we settled in and went downstairs to Morton's Grill, a popular steakhouse. Baked five onion soup. I like, I like soups like that. The hard top, hard top soup. The bread. Bye. We ordered crispy firecracker shrimp. Spicy. It is. That's what I like. And we doubled up on the entree. We got the land and sea, which is lobster ravioli and some braised short rib with shiitake mushroom. Fah. It's almost gone. Almost. <laughs> the short rib, it just dissolves in your mouth. <laughs> The next day, we walked over to the Falls View Casino Resort and headed to a local restaurant called Lucky's. The aesthetic was pretty cool. We were bougie though. We sipped a few bellinis and then dipped. Next, we headed down to Queen Victoria Place, a quaint little spot that's all gardeny and stuff, and you can see the falls while you eat.
We had a seafood croissant, which had baby shrimp and crab and stuff in it. And we also had some lobster ravioli. We then walked down the pathway where we could see the falls. We were so close to the falls that the mist was slapping us. It was a truly breathtaking sight. We decided to walk back to the hotel. Fallsview Boulevard is actually a nice little walk. We headed to dinner at the Skyline. Now the Skyline is a restaurant that's similar to the Space Needle. It's up high. We actually didn't get reservations to the nice restaurant. We got the buffet. the Skylon for dinner, but the buffet looked a bit sketchy and picked over, so we settled for some drinks and waited for the fireworks show. left and found a cute restaurant at the Copacabana called La Favela.
The vibe up there was cool, so we decided to order. We got the Copa, which is a brisket pizza. And we also got the Wagyu burger. Both were amazing. Definitely glad we left the buffet. We got up at sunrise so Pat could fly his drone over the falls. It was gorgeous. We saw this cool alleyway, so we had to get a photo op. Keep going that way. Later on, Pat hid the itinerary from me, so I had no idea what I was in store for. <laughs> Helicopter. Surprised me with a private helicopter tour.
It was the most intense view I've ever seen and was quite scary, but man, was it good. I've never seen anything like that. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little scared up there too, but the views were crazy. We had lunch at a little spot called The Secret Garden. They had flowers and stuff, it was cool. We were in Canada, so we decided to try some poutine, which is fries and gravy. It's actually pretty good. Poutine. I swear there was at least a thousand people that got on this boat, but there was still enough room to navigate through, and we all wore ponchos to protect us from the wetness. The boat took us almost directly under the Niagara Falls. We felt the mist, but it was truly refreshing. The boat ride was crazy. We went right up to the falls and they were all changing colors. It was awesome. Once we passed the Niagara Falls, we pulled to the side and waited to see the fireworks show. After the show, we got off the boat and headed back to the van, but the night wasn't over. Our last stop was the lighthouse that overlooked the falls. This is where they change the colors. They actually project them right onto the falls. It's crazy. Oh, that's cool. It's so quick. I can show you. They let us jump on the ones and twos and DJ. I felt like I was doing an EDM concert. 
We were literally changing the colors of Niagara Falls. Epic. We were so hyped and full of energy after that, we still had to go see some attractions. We saw a crazy looking house that was upside down. So you know we had to stop. Thank you so much. Let's do it. Every single room was upside down. It was very cool inside. Every room was upside down, and each room had a different color scheme. It was very cool, so you know we had some ideas to just have fun in there. My favorite room was the bathroom. We were so hyped and it was our last night there. So we actually ended up going down to the carnivals. Yeah, Niagara Falls has a carnival that runs 24 seven. I don't know if it's 24 seven. Next, we went down to the booth and purchased our tickets. This gave us access to all the attractions. We started in a castle maze, which purposely got you lost and you had to find a bunch of towers to win. That was fun. Nice. You have captured tower two. Hit it. It's a big ass bell. Hop the fence. Oh, it's tower number one. Ah, slippery when wet. Literally nothing. Oh, there's a red. What's this? Of the mystery maze. <laughs> yeah. We walked to the main street where all the attractions were, and stuff was everywhere wizard, golf, all types of attractions. This place is actually lit. We then walked down the street to a haunted house that's open all year long. So we thought, hmm, it might not be too crazy. Boy, were we wrong. That was one of the most frightening haunted houses that I've ever been in. <laughs> Trick Leonard. Come on. 
<laughs> Chicken exit. <Yeah. laughs> oh, a little slow. Bitch, Damn. Real life torture going on. We went to the Maze of Lasers, which is a game that lets you pretend like you're breaking into a vault or something. We lost. We set off every alarm. I would not trust us to sneak in anywhere. Why do we have these? Zero clues. It's pretty creepy. Oh, I hate it. Yep. Oh my god. I think we were mermaids for each other. Don't you think I We were mermaids for each other? Why do we have gloves? Man. I just keep going straight now. Oh my god! Yo! It looks like we're in here with a group of people. Alright, stage two. Oh, that chicken is good. <laughs> this place was creepy. You don't know what's you and what's not you. Are you real? There's a, there's a dead end behind me. Finally made it out of the maze of mirrors, and let yep. me tell you, we felt accomplished. We made it. Hey,
awesome because we got to look at the falls while eating lobster bisque, some crispy bao buns, and shrimp Diablo. Delicious. After we ate, we hopped in the car to head back. We crossed the border and drove back to Buffalo, New York and hopped on the flight. Niagara really surprised me. I had no idea there was so much to do out there, but I'm glad we went. I can't wait to see the next wonder of the world. Until then, keep your bags packed. All right, y'all. That was Niagara Falls. Mm -hmm. We're back at the headquarters. HQ. Oh, my God. I had such a good time. I, it was surprising. Niagara Falls was a surprisingly great time. I knew mm -hmm. the falls itself was going to be beautiful, but I didn't know what the city around the falls. I've been to some wonders of the world, like um, the pyramids and the Taj Mahal, and there wasn't really anything to do around it. We kind of had to drive pretty far to get to our next destination. Mm -hmm. But here at Niagara Falls, everything was like localized. You could walk everywhere, and there was so much to do. Yeah, Falls View Boulevard was actually really cracking. Falls View Boulevard is the main like street before you turn off and go down into the falls, and it had like restaurants, casinos, mm -hmm. fun zones. Mm -hmm. uh, the carnival was surprising. We didn't even really get to explore that side of town. Mm -hmm. um, I forget what the street was called, but the street of the that had the carnival on it, mm -hmm. and there was a whole bunch of other stuff to and do the upside down, down house. And right. There was like some projects over there. <laughs> we, we took the wrong turn, and right. there was like some hoods over there. It was just like, there was everything over there. The food was really good out there. Absolutely. The activities were pretty top tier. Mm -hmm. And more than anything, the falls, like... Like you said, like I can only imagine what it's like looking at the pyramids. But after you look at them for a long time, you'd be like, for sure. I saw them. <laughs> the Niagara Falls, it's like it's always moving. It's just constantly mm -hmm. going. And especially like how the, the room had the, the, the view of the falls. It was just like you got to just kind of like stare at it. Right. This is happening all the time. <laughs> it felt really, it just feels good out there. Uh -huh. You know, walking the pathway next to the falls and mm -hmm. getting that mist. It cools you down a bit. And then all of a sudden, the weather is so unpredictable. It kind of reminded me of Miami. Right. Like we're just sitting there and all of a sudden it starts storming storming raining shout out to god <laughs> cleared out all the tourists gave us some good shots yep and we got Love some it. of the best footage after <laughs> it rained <laughs> mm -hmm. no nah, very very cool a lot more diverse than i thought it was mm -hmm. uh, i know a lot of like you know people of color since we're you know working with brands now mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh but no blacks <laughs> uh, <laughs> all my black friends they're, right. they're just like I never even thought about going to Niagara Falls it's not right. like yeah, we know it's beautiful but it's not ever really on our vacation list mm -hmm. and man I would definitely go back okay so with that being said what was your favorite activity this trip was pretty up there with the activities mm -hmm. I mean the second to last day that we were there, we jam-packed it with probably the most activities we've ever done on a We Trippin' episode. I'm not even gonna lie, it's really, really tough for me. Um, as much as I enjoyed watching the fireworks from the boat, I thought that was a really, really cool experience. Mm -hmm. I, I actually just think that DJing the lights to the falls <laughs> might have been my favorite. And it's like... <laughs> Everything else was just like really, really dope, but that was like so one of a kind, mm -hmm. you know? Like 
the helicopters over the the Niagara Falls is probably the best way to see it. Mm-hmm. Um, the carnival, I don't really go to carnivals like that, so doing like mirror mazes and and, and like mm-hmm. castle mazes was insanely fun. So those are big runner ups, and I thought it was gonna be the the, the fireworks from the boat. But the only reason it's not was the first night we saw, they have basically like fireworks every night right. over the falls. So we got to see it like a couple times and then that was like our third time from the best view possible. Yeah, we saw it from different vantage points, but that right. one was, was wild. But then, you know, the, the the DJing the lights, which was really the main reason <laughs> I got the tour was because you can't just do that with unless you're on the tour. Right. Um, so going up there and, and not only realizing that those were people doing that i just thought it was like on a timer Mm. but that went back really far like to the 1800s like there's a picture of people in top hats they figured out how to shine lights onto the falls so this has been happening for a really long time and now it's like leds and we get to (laughs) use an ipad and pretend like we're like you know dead mouse we were the only ones that did that by the way (laughs) (laughs) we were because we're fun yeah um, but yeah, that was, even though it was very quick and random, it was very like one of a kind. And I didn't even know people did that. Yeah. And so I didn't know what all was, was a part of our tour. Mm-hmm. So when I found out that we got to actually control the lights, I was like, yo, like mm-hmm. this is wild. No one was changing it as much as we were though. <laughs> no. Like if it was people, they weren't doing it enough. But right. shout out to Bob. He's like the keeper of the lighthouse. Mm-hmm. And he said that he'd just be getting bored and just doing right. it. I picture him just getting drunk. He in his drawers at 3 a.m. DJing <laughs> the damn Niagara Falls mm-hmm. lights. I was trying to play whack-a-mole thing. with it and have make sure, like, every time the light clicked off, I tapped it to, to make <laughs> all the lights go at the we same time. We were giving time. people a show. Yeah, it was like, really fun. We, we gave people a show. So I could see, I could see why that was your I'm surprised you didn't say the boat because mm-hmm. actually being pretty much under the falls was just crazy. That was dope, too. But... Um, I'm not saying the boat either. My favorite activity was actually the the helis, the helicopter, yeah. the helikis nofter. Nah, oh. <laughs> that was um, dope. Uh, dope is man. That's not Scary. even the word. It was frightening Mm -hmm. when the wind hit us and like shook us a little bit and then it started kind of beeping i was like ah Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know but that was my first time on a helicopter Mm -hmm. um and i didn't have time to prepare because this was a surprise surprise i was all nervous and stuff and she was like what are we doing (laughs) and i was like let me let me just give let me just get myself together (laughs) didn't let her get herself together no he drove we drove and I said, oh, there's a helicopter. <laughs> I still had no idea that that's what we were doing. But mm-hmm. I'm kind of a, a, a like thrill junkie. So um, I, I had a lot of fun. I didn't need too much preparation for it. because I, I think it was like the best way to see it, too. Mm-hmm. Because like there's a very fixed vantage point of the falls. You mm-hmm. know, if you don't know, there's a side on Canada and a side on America. The side is the horseshoe. Right. Uh, oh, the, excuse me. The Canada side is the horseshoe. Right. And then the American side, I forget what it's called, but it's kind of just like a, a, a straight line. It's like a strip. Yeah. It didn't look fun to us. So we, didn't, we didn't go. <laughs> Those Everybody like says the smaller, Canadian side was better. And the, you can see the rocks at the bottom. They, they're they so. very cool up close. Mm-hmm. But my point is, is that the people basically see them from, you know, the ground. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, from our hotel was high up and it was beautiful, but the the helicopter lets you see what's behind the falls. Right. Lets you see what the falls go to. It like little all, mm-hmm. different falls that are kind of like off to the side, and it's really just like the best best way to experience it if you do make it out to Niagara Falls. That would probably be my number one suggestion over the yes. boat because it's yeah. more my vibe than the boat too. I like I like getting close to it and getting like splashed. But between the people and the the wetness, I, I like I like the aerial view. <laughs> we were flying over the waterfalls, and then we saw other waterfalls and lakes that we didn't even know uh, was out there. So it was just wild to see it from an aerial perspective, because. Yep. You know, I've like I said, I've never done this before. I've never been on a helicopter before this. I'm so. glad the surprise landed. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. That. You did yeah. a great job. And I was, you know, it was also, it's also for me. <laughs> 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 right. All right, let's get into these foods. Niagara Falls, actually, they brought out the foods. They had a, a couple spots that we just had appetizers at that were mm-hmm. fire. Uh, we tried poutine, a Canadian mm. classic. That was really good. Mm-hmm. What was your top? Niagara Falls food. <laughs> I think it might have been the first night at Morton's. Morton's was you had good. 
You had ordered the firecracker shrimp. So good. And I ordered that baked five onion so soup. Now it's weird to share soup. <laughs> But I, I, she did let me have a spoonful, and a, and, and, a, and a few. I, I had a couple more. It was very good. I don't know who orders French like five onion soup. Me, but but it was so good. It was phenomenal. I loved it. I mean, the lobster ravioli was amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, the braised. I, we've been getting really lucky with braised mm -hmm. beef, you know, mm -hmm. and and they had the mushrooms and all that stuff. That was very, 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 very good. That was actually up there in the season. Mm. Niagara Falls doesn't really count against mm. the summer stuff, but I feel like these foods would have probably uh, messed with uh, some of Cabo's and oh, for sure, some of Miami's too. Uh, which is surprising. We, we ate good out there. We definitely ate very, very, very good. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm gonna have to go with La Favela. Okay. Which was the rooftop spot we went to after the bust of Skylon. Okay. Because cool. I think that us getting ready to go to dinner, we were hungry, mm -hmm. we sat down, we, did, we, we didn't get the, you have to really get those Skylon, like the real mm -hmm. restaurant, because mm -hmm. the buffet is kind of just open to everybody. Right. And I'm not, no, no shade, but we saw why immediately. <laughs> it was very like, the, the tables were super close together. Um, we were we were yes, just it like was, it was very crowded very crowded the um, buffet was not buffeting the buffet just looked really picked over you know yeah. it looked really like leftover ish so yeah and I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna lie like uh, it might sound bougie but I, I did buffets every now and then mm -hmm. before COVID mm -hmm. um not the hugest fan, but like when I was a little, little kid, I used to do the Sizzler buffet. I thought right. it was bussing. It was. Um, with the birth of social media and seeing people spitting and sipping out of the mm -hmm. things and touching things and putting it back, I kind of fell off to it. I never really was into like the fifth, uh, the $10 all you can eat oh, random yeah. spots, but if it looked nice, I would do it. Since COVID, it's kind of shot. Like I just need my stuff individualized. I need, it's enough for me thinking one person is cooking it and over it the whole time. Mm -hmm. the hundreds? No, can't do it. So <laughs> I say all that to say that we were kind of like in the mood to eat. We were very disappointed, but right. we st I thought we were just going to find some place that was open. And we ended up getting brisket pizza yeah. and that burger that was made of Wagyu mm -hmm. beef. That was so, so, so good. good. What also was very good about Niagara Falls is that it was crowded at times, but we were still able to do the things that we wanted to do. Mm hmm. You know, so like when we when we went to the carnival area, yeah, it was it wasn't that crowded, so we got to do like everything. It was, late. It was like two a.m. It was really cool to be able to do all that stuff and not be flooded with people. So that's a little bit of a hack, maybe if yeah. you guys go out there and you want to do stuff and not have to wait in line, you might want to go a little bit later to let the crowds die down. Well, honestly, I think that the hack is is just seeing what we do and booking that ahead of time mm -hmm. we're kind of doing this impromptu this mm -hmm. is as we go you know obviously we couldn't get the skyline that was booked the whole weekend so we had to settle for the buffet but silver lining is we, we kept it in there to show you guys that it'll probably you'll probably have some openings for the buffet mm -hmm. don't do it if you're going to niagara <laughs> just book ahead all of these things so you know that you can because a lot of times we're getting lucky it's mm -hmm. like day of what you got oh for sure and it just works out perfectly mm -hmm. but we want to leave it in if it doesn't work out perfectly so you guys can plan accordingly <laughs> right um let's get into this uh let's get into these safety tips yes let's these, hear it. this is interesting to me while we were out there i felt very safe i did too i felt really really safe we were walking around we were in the very you know touristic and crowded areas mm -hmm. so i could see any any tourist area is going to have crime um so i have a couple of websites that have different things uh to say about it and i'm going to focus really on the really like statistic ones the the, the really like nice ones that's just like it's great everybody mm -hmm. come through i don't really trust those um, but apparently Niagara Falls is about that ish. Oh, what? It says Niagara Falls has one of the highest overall crime rates of any U.S. city. Uh, for comparison, the total national crime rate, uh, according to 24-7 uh, Wall Street, 2,489 incidents for every 100,000 people. Niagara Falls overall crime rate is 175% higher than the overall crime rate in New York. No. <laughs> oh, so we was out there on some. Out there, but 
you know, it, then you have to break down like what type of crimes. Okay. Uh, property crime, in you know, uh, is is crazy out there. Okay. It's very very big. Violent crime happens out there, but it's not as prominent. Okay. But between New York you know, got. They got the violent crime. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, <laughs> locked yep. down. Uh, but pro- you know, property crime, larceny, burglary, motor uh, vehicle theft. That's all pretty prominent in there. Violent crime, you know, assaults, all that. Uh, violent crime is is there. Is this from both sides, the Canadian side and the U.S. side? So yes. So okay. so a lot of this is from both. And I did look at some comparisons because I was thinking like Canada's going to be crazy safe and, and mm-hmm. America isn't. It was pretty down the middle. Okay. You know, like the I saw some statistics that was like how how safe is it to walk around during the day? And both of them were pretty good. And then the night was like 47 and 46. Like it was okay. pretty it was pretty down the middle. Um I personally would recommend the Canadian side, mm-hmm. but we haven't been to the American side, but But uh, when you do your research there's nowhere that's going to say to go to the American side over the Canadian side. So yeah. in terms of activity, I like this. I like this website. It's area vibes, <laughs> <laughs> area uh, They gave it an overall C plus. And I feel like oh. that's okay. According to our personal experience, we might've been like, Hey, you know, I, we were out yeah. at night, blah, 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 blah. But statistically speaking, and with all of the research I combined, that seems about fair. Okay. C plus. Okay. All right. What about wow. your skin tuition? <laughs> um, this is a little preview of what we're doing in fall. Yeah. So I felt good. I felt like everyone was very kind. Um, just for just for it, reference, skin tuition is how we feel as mm-hmm. uh, people of color in a random city like Niagara Falls, mm-hmm. Ontario. So mm-hmm. we will definitely get more into that in the fall season. But sorry, mm-hmm. keep up. But yeah, so I, I felt good. Um, and my skin tuition is really strong. So mm-hmm. typically if I go somewhere and I get a vibe that I might not want to be here, yeah. um, I will be quick to tell you, like, let's go. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so It wasn't um, too bad. A lot of everybody was very, very nice to yeah. us that we interacted with and uh added a, you know, peace of mind. It's not what you would think in terms of like the diversity there's a huge 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 populations of people from all over the world we saw a lot of people from india a lot of people from africa a lot of people from different parts of asia Mm -hmm. and it's like people are coming from all around the world to see this thing so it was a melting pot there's some people you know some natives that are like brown (laughs) people but for the most part we didn't see anybody get you know disrespected we didn't see anybody get attacked we didn't we didn't have that experience for ourselves Mm -hmm. so and then i guess my persephone's travel hack would just be um we've started changing our itinerary to where we don't really plan anything the first day the first day i think is so important for us to just gather ourselves and figure out how we want this trip to go so i would say if you are going to book a flight somewhere use that first day to kind of like organize everything that you want to do um because it really does help us kind of get into the flow of things for the next day Mm -hmm. we get to relax we get to chill we get to eat in the hotel we kind of don't put too much on us for the first day because a lot of times you know our bodies are not acclimated to the new environment that we're in and sometimes we just push 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 and then the next day you're tired as hell you don't want to do anything you're missing you know your appointments and everything so i would say take that time look up the different food places once you get out there um Maybe go downstairs and talk to the bartender, talk to some of the locals and yeah, see. There's a, there's a fun part of it of like just being open. You don't mm-hmm. want to, a lot of, I think we're planning less and less things because right? when you're a slave to an itinerary, you're based on how you feel and what you find out about. Like there've been times in, in future episodes where we had such a schedule that we were mm-hmm. like, damn, this next thing, like they were like <laughs> they right. were going into each other. We were tired. And it's just like, you don't want to be slave to your own itinerary. Yeah. So it is good to leave some loose. Yeah. Somewhere. Give yourself the gift of relaxation. Mm-hmm. You know, I like that. My, my travel hack would be get a hotel where you can see the falls. <laughs> that right. is really a big part of the trip. Mm-hmm. I did notice that like if you are if you're like far away from it or you can't see it obviously you're going to want to keep going to the falls and taking pictures right. and it's going to be a lot of people down there it's going to be wet if you can get a uh, and it doesn't have to be like a super high up 
crazy room, but there's a bunch of hotels that face it and it's huge. So if you can get a nice little view where you're constantly being able to look at it, you'll get the most out of the trip and you won't have to feel pressured on going there all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I definitely took some time to just sit and watch it out of the window. Yep. All right, so this has been Niagara Falls, the bonus episode. Hey. I know we keep we, we keep coming back, but <laughs> this time we're for real. I've been Patrick Cloud. And I'm Persephone. And we will see you when the leaves starts changing. Bye. Later, guys. Bye.